I'm Dr. Frida, and today we're going to talk about social anxiety disorder symptoms and how to know if you have it. Does the fear of being embarrassed or scrutinized cause you to avoid speaking to people? Do you avoid activities in which you are the center of attention? And is your worst fear being humiliated or being made to look inadequate in front of other people? If so, you might have social anxiety disorder. Keep watching. I'm Dr. Frida. I'm a medical doctor who has been triple board certified in nephrology, internal medicine, and pediatrics. And today we are going to talk about social anxiety disorder symptoms and how to know if you have it. Social anxiety disorder is actually quite common. It is one of the more common psychiatric disorders. And in the United States, it has a lifetime prevalence of five to 12%. Social anxiety disorder is more common in women than men, but men most certainly can get it. And if you are going to get social anxiety disorder, it usually presents itself in adolescence, usually in the mid teens, but children as young as five years of age can be diagnosed. And even people who are older can be diagnosed, especially if they are in a situation where there are new social activities. For instance, if it's an older person who gets a job that now requires them to do public speaking, they can be diagnosed at that age. People who have social anxiety disorder have an extreme fear in social situations. And this fear causes them to want to avoid events that they may want or even need to attend. They get an anxiety. So if you have social anxiety disorder, you may need or want to go to certain things like meetings or business dinners or reunions or your child's soccer game or business dinners. But this anxiety caused by being in front of other people is so great that you may actually develop an avoidant behavior. Social anxiety disorder, also called social phobia, can be quite debilitating. And here are some of the symptoms. So you may have social anxiety disorder if you avoid social situations, if you worry that you're going to be embarrassed in front of other people, if you fear that others will speak negatively of you, or if they perceive you as being inadequate. You also may have it if you interpret even neutral reactions as being negative. For example, if you're having a conversation with someone which is quite normal and that they're reacting to you in a very neutral manner, you may walk away thinking, oh, that person doesn't like me. They think I'm not smart. They think I'm not good enough. You may interpret something that is more negative than it actually is. There are also some physical symptoms associated with social anxiety disorder. They include getting a fast heart rate, actually having a tremble or tremulousness. Other symptoms or indications that you might have social anxiety disorder include if you are someone who avoids making eye contact or if you avoid speaking to people. Social anxiety disorder can also be associated with other mental health disorders. It has a strong association with major depressive disorder or major depression. It can also be associated with substance abuse or excessive alcohol use. Please watch my YouTube video on nine depression symptoms and warning signs you should know. If you have social anxiety disorder, you may have feelings of inadequacy. You may have really a severe or debilitating social impairment. In short, it can cause you to have a reduced quality of life. There are some other attributes associated with social anxiety disorder that in and of themselves are not necessarily psychiatric disorders. For example, you may have shyness or some inhibition when you are around other people. People with social anxiety disorder tend to have performance anxiety. When you have performance anxiety, that just means that when you have to do certain activities in front of other people or even in front of one person, you can develop this anxiety, this nervousness, this anxiousness, such as if you have to do public speaking, you might start sweating or feel flushed or get really, really nervous like you can't do it. Or if you are in intimate situations, you may develop anxiety and not be able to function. So how can social anxiety disorder be diagnosed? If you feel like you have some of these symptoms I've mentioned, then consult your physician. And if you already have a mental health care provider, speak with that provider, your psychologist, your psychiatrist, your psychotherapist, your counselor. What they will do is they will give you a very detailed history and physical to see if you have social anxiety disorder. And if you do, if they make the diagnosis, 
then they will give you the tools to manage it or to treat it. So what is the treatment for social anxiety disorder? Well, one treatment is cognitive behavioral therapy. In this situation, the healthcare provider will have you to talk to them about your behaviors and your feelings and where you have these behaviors, which social situations they come up in. And then they will talk to you about how to deal with these behaviors and how to manage your anxiety. So that is one form of cognitive behavioral therapy. For some patients with social anxiety disorder, treatment with medications can help the antidepressant. So even if you don't actually have the diagnosis of depression, if you have social anxiety disorder, we have found that certain antidepressants help, like the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or the SSRIs. Make sure, again, that you consult your physician and your mental health care provider to get the maximum treatment. If you found this video to be helpful and informative, please be sure to like it and to share it with the people you care about. Also, if you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification button so you'll be among the first to know when I'm releasing new medical content. Also, follow me on Instagram at Dr.Frida to see what I'm up to in my just regular everyday old life. I appreciate you for watching. I thank you for watching and I want you to do your best to live your healthiest, happiest life. I'm Dr. Frida.